The St. Francis 50 has the stern buoyancy to accept a heavy rib, in this case 600 pounds. But because of the extended stern platform and the heavy weight of the rib, St. Francis had to innovate a new David system. And this they did very well indeed. Hi there. Today we're going to show you how to lift the Cellier um, rubber duck dinghy. Basically it's about 600 pounds um, lifting and bringing it up from, from with that new David system. Duncan is now busy uncleating the, the rope for the, for the David system so that we can lower the ropes to the, to the dinghy, dinghy's bridle. What we're going to do next is basically unclip it here on this side. Basically I'm just moving the one to this side, pulling it out and then just hanging it down. And do the same on the other side. And now the other side, just move up the clip and then just pulling it out. And let this one hang as well. The next step what we'll do is, is pulling the, pull the davit system forward. Okay, we now pull down the support bar and we push it into the into the catchment area and just push in the clip. The next step will be just to pull a little bit more rope so we can get a bit more slack and then we're going to unhook the chain and put it into the clip here. Are you also tight? Okay. That in. Okay, we just pulled pull some down to get a ball slack. Okay, we're going to hook it into the bridle, the dinghy bridle. Just make sure the ropes are always on the pulleys on top. Now we can just put some more tension on the, on these ropes again. And so we can pull it up, pull the dinghy, the dinghy up to a certain point. We will hook the, the next clips in. Okay. Ready to go up, Jacob? Yes, you can go up. The next step now will be to clip in the, the clips from the, hang, the rope hanging on top into the bridle from the, from the dinghy. What we're going to do now is basically take the supports out and clip it in place and then slowly dropping the boat forward, the whole David system should move forward and drop the, the rubber duck into the water. Okay, now we can basically just lo drop down the, the Winch slowly, wrap on the winch. Are you ready? The boat will move forward, yes. Also just make sure that the rubber duck doesn't hit on the chocks going down. What we're going to do now is basically lift the rubber duck up again and doing it step by step till it's down on the chocks again. Stop. Just coming slowly now as I pull this support down 
and to lock it in position. Okay. I'm just going to put the clip in to secure it in position and then do the other side. And that's secured. Okay, I'm gonna, if you can raise it slightly so I can unclip those two ropes on top again. All right. I'll just do the other side quick. As we lower the boat, we must always just make sure that the engine doesn't it's not going to touch on the on the swimming platform. So we can, as we drop it down, just make sure to check the back. Okay, yeah, you clear there? Can we start yes. lowering? Clear, lower it. There. Yes, so far. Hold on. I have to raise the engine slightly. Okay, drop it down. It's good this side. Good. And that is the up and down procedure.